F-150 behind me, we are putting a blend door motor in, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and uh, hopefully it's helpful, because it's been a pain so far, and I ain't got very far into the project. So you might as well scoot your seats back, or take them out if you're a bigger guy, I get kind of a belly on me, so I about have to take them out, to be honest with you, but it's doable with the seats in it. So, you got a panel here that needs to come off first. Some trucks are missing it. Uh, I don't know if this truck had it or not, but it wasn't on it when I started, so. You got this right here. This vent for your feet. You got a bolt right up in there. If you can see where my ratchet is. You can feel it. You can bend this down a little. And uh, that bolt needs to come out. It's an eight millimeter. An eight. I then got this one loose right here, and that's an eight. Once you get that, this can stay on or come off. It's up to you. Uh, can you twist this enough, just enough to get it out without? Nope, you can't. So we two bolts in it. Let's go to the driver's side. This boat, it's gonna be fun. I done looked at it once. Oh, inside we go. You ain't got much light. I know, I apologize, but I'm trying my best here. I ain't got a little light. Uh, but the boat is in the back. You see my hand. And you can feel it. It's up towards the top and hits it. So. <clears throat> Extension might help. What in the world is it? I lost it. That is. Extension gonna help? Is it? Is it too big now? Let me tell you. Once you get on it, don't lose it. It's been an hour, and I don't think it will be getting this boat ever again. In my opinion, I don't think it needed to be that long. But. I'm not a vehicle designer. I didn't design this truck. You know, I'm, I'm sure it needed that boat. It couldn't just have a clip or something in it or a little blocking. Okay. Now, we're loose. It's held up here. You gotta mash it down and then it'll fly out. Just yank it. I guess. Maybe it has three bolts in it. I hope not. Let's see. You see any where it goes? Okay, 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 yep, uh, two bolts, I have no idea what a third bolt would be if, if it does got one, I don't think it does, on the back of this, they is, uh, some, they is, they are some, uh, little lines, uh, you can pull them out, it's hoses for, uh, some kind of vent, uh, I just grab onto them. It helps you get to the boat. I'll show you better here once we get on that s this either out of the way or scoot it over. I don't know. Ugh. Feels like it's got no boat in it. To be honest about it, and I hope not. Why would they put three boats in it? Two was bad enough. Give credit credits due at one. <laughs> you know. Let's see, is it on the back? It is, I feel with my hand. Do I feel a bolt in it? So maybe a big long screwdriver that helped pry it out. I think it's just, just stuck in there. To be honest about it. Let's see. Come out. Okay. <laughs> Dirty devil. Go. It feels like it's got a bolt in it. Feels like it's got a bolt right in here. But it could also, it fits super tight right here. So, how's people get these out? Oh, okay. It's loose if I, okay. Well, I pried this with this, kind of at an angle, and you can see it popped out. Yeah, it's a good one. We break something, we know. 
it's got a boat. I don't think it does though. I think it's just in the uh, extremely tight. Okay, here we go. Come here. Oh, it's gonna be such a pain in the ass to put back in. Do we actually need it? Do we? Comment below. Did you put yours back inside here? Probably eight millimeters. Oh. This is the motor I, I bought off eBay. That's the part number. And uh, before you do this, word of advice, before you even take this out, check and make sure the new motor that you bought works. You'd be surprised how many bad motors you can get new out of the box. And uh, before you do this, make sure your blend door is not broken. You can buy, do that basically by taking this motor off and if it's work, works, you know, your blend door is broken. Uh, I put a heater core in this truck, I do, I do know that, that it's, it's good. So, I'm gonna go ahead, there's three bolts, one here, here, and one towards the back, and take them out. The three bolts is out, and since you can see, uh, this is the vent I was talking about. If you look, these guys right here, they plug into the back of this. And uh, I guess they work some kind of valve. Uh, be sure to plug them back in. Forget about them. Something might not work in your dash. So once we get the bolts out, it drops straight down. I'll be a little stuck, but just keep working with it. Or they four bolts in it. No, just three. I think one, two, three. Yep. Let me set you on this box. Can you see? I don't know if you can see or not. Uh, let's see. Bolt. Gone, 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 gone. Let's take my handy dandy thing here and just ease it down. Try not to break it. It's probably a factory or something. Who knows? Who knows? That is. Yes. Hmm. And this one was not working, and it is a factory unit. 1997. I don't tell them how long that ain't working. I need my AC, and I can't have the door set on hot Ugh, all the time. You know, I probably better way to open this box than I just did. Compare your motor to the old one. One, two, three, four. It might have four bolts. I took three out. Let's see. No bolt. No bolt. No bolt. No bolt? Okay, so one bolt holds the plastic piece in. We took out. Let's go figure, huh? That box idea worked pretty good. Hopefully you can see, see all my pain. Now, getting this lined up is not gonna be that difficult. Well, I lied guys and girls. Uh, it might be a little bit difficult. Um, you gotta find the hole. And my hole finding skill is looking pretty terrible right now. Let me tell you, let's see. Well, yeah, ho. Oh, is that it? That's it right there. Found it. Get off. I better turn this on heat before I stick it in there, because we know the blend door is stuck on heat. So, let's, uh... Turn this on, turn on high, turn on heat. And that thing should move over to heat. That way we don't break a window up when we install it. Okay. 
okay, everything looks fine. Now, should be pretty lined up, shouldn't we? Where's that hole at? Nope, I'm over. Is that it? Nine tenths of the bat, we're going to be finding this uh, thing here. That ain't, no, that's not here. That almost is here. Huh. Yeah. I be. Gotta be a better way to see that. No. No, 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 that should go. No. Let me just be honest with you. This was much better. Just crawl on the pasture side and find the hole okay everything lined up plug it in put some bolts in it so it don't fall back out there's this one and here is this one was it that? oh don't think it's way over here okay and then we got that one. This one was held on with that plastic piece. This is the third one. Now, I'm gonna take my ratchet, tighten some of these up. Eight millimeter is what these are, in case you just skipped ahead on the video and it watch all the pain and suffering that it took to put this in. Don't over tighten them, it is plastic. You don't have to go Godzilla on these. Destroy the world. Okay, maybe I can come out now. These motors on this AC unit last forever. Nobody keeps the cars that long anyway. They need to trade them in and just keep uh, the cycle going. You know, once you get it paid off, just trade it in. Going dead again. Fuck that vehicle. You shouldn't be out of debt. You know? Let's go get another one. It's the way companies think anymore. They just see cars that throw away. Got 100,000 miles on them. And, uh, you know, people trade them in. And to be honest about it, new cars ain't worth a damn. Uh, it's getting sketchy fast 2014. I tell you that. <laughs> Everything just anymore. Just get some miles on it, throw it away, quit working, get another one, stay in debt. You know, ain't no use paying the vehicle off. Trade it in, refinance. Get you another one. Pay them um, payments each month, you know. Oh, I never understood that. I'm happy with old stuff, older vehicles, and stuff that, you know, you can fix yourself. Don't have to take to a shop. Not only can you fix it yourself, it'll last you. And it's paid for. And you don't have any payments. You can go in debt for something better than a vehicle. Like a house. You much rather pay on a house. Ugh. Snug. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and. Okay. It's blowing warm. Let's see if it changes. I hear it change. That's good. Now I'm going to be honest, my AC don't work. So you can hear the sound in the vents changing. And if you want to know, it's got a Flowmaster original series on it. 4.6 truck. So we let it warm up, then we'll switch the I guess the vents. Well, this is a project. It may seem simple, but let me tell you, it's a pain. I wish you super small. You know, like I said, I had a little bit too much Taco Bell. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch these vents and see what it feels like. I see my truck's up to temperature. Airbag light is cold 12. 
I don't know what that is at the moment. I think we searched it. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what color twelve is on that the airbag light. Cause I like to get that off. It's the only light I got anymore. You know, I'm making progress. Come on, heat, go away. Oh, the heat's gone. Woo! Now my AC worked. If the AC worked. To be honest about it, I don't know what's up with the AC either. Oh, I ain't troubleshooted it for you yet. I troubleshooted it enough to realize that it's not my low pressure fridge because I bypassed it with a wire right here and my AC didn't kick on. Now, those it got refrigerant in it? It should still come on with the low pressure switch bypass. So, you know, I was going to force fill it. Now that was my AC compressor. I found these. This, it's toasting the oil all of them. Looked like it was going down towards the AC compressor. Could have been for fog lights, who knows? It crosses over into this and this ties into the ground well no it just runs through the big metal bracket that's safe and then it goes down and it goes inside I got a cut wire here who knows what that goes to it's, it's I don't know it's a nice truck. I love the truck. This little F-150 has glue on me. I'm not much of a Ford fan. The older Mustang and 302s I am. But as far as the Fords, this F-150 I like. I don't much like the uh, the short wheel base ones. The extended cab in this year I thought was pretty. And I got this and had a hell of a deal. And I picked it up and even though it needed some work, it, it, I like it. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. We still need to do a lot more maintenance on it. So if you're a fan of these F-150s, get subscribed if you're new. Check out the playlist on this truck. I do got a playlist. Many of the uh, stuff we're going to be doing to it will be in that playlist. If you just want to watch Ford stuff. But I try to upload every single day. Sometimes I miss it. I've been busy here. Me and Matt's uh, got this shop we opened it. We also got to finish the body shop and we just got so much going on. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. And check the eBay store out in the description below. I'll see you next time.